Because Tarzan refuses to remain in Tor as her mate, and because he has killed Toldo, her pet lion, Hatea sentences the ape man and his companions to death by sacrifice or torture. Through flattery, Wong Tai talks himself into the good graces of the savage queen of the yellow giants and escapes the death sentence. As Tarzan and his friends are being led along the top of the wall surrounding Tor to their dungeon, the ape man stages a sham battle. Unobserved, Darno and Uka, the Ratorian, climb to the roof of a watchtower during the excitement. Later, under cover of darkness, the two start to climb down the outside of the wall. Darno loses his hold and falls to the ground as a straggler from the elephant-mounted Torian jungle guard rides up. Meanwhile, Atea has conducted Tarzan, O'Rourke, Ashley, and Jeanette to a subterranean cavern, where she leaves them to be locked up by Wong and her palace guards. Heedless of the yellow giants, and in the face of Wong's pistol, O'Rourke savagely attacks the Chinese. Wong raises his weapon. O'Rourke hit staggers backward into the arms of a yellow giant. Tarzan! Uncle Jim! He, he's killed Gary! At a sharp sign from Wong, the guard picks up the limp figure of O'Rourke and drops him inside the barred gate. Other guards slam the massive bars into place as Tarzan springs to the barrier. Oh, Daddy! Daddy! Help me, Uncle Jim! Steady, old girl, steady. Here, let me see. Wong, you have killed a brave man. A better man than you are. I'll accept Otea's offer now, under the condition that she give me five minutes alone with you. It so happens, my friend, that I am rather expert with a Su Chiang. Uh, your pardon, the pistol. You will find that O'Rourke is not badly hurt. It was the only way I had of stopping him. <laughs> it is your desire that this humble person inform Atea of your honorable desire to accept her condition? I'll tell her myself, if O'Rourke dies. As you will. Then I bid you to la a good night. How is he, Ashley? Hurt bad? I think not. The bullet seems to have merely grazed his skull. Stunned him. A fraction of an inch further to the right he, of him. He won't die, Uncle Jim. Oh, of course not, my dear. It'll take a lot more than that to kill this hard-headed Irishman. Oh, if there were only some water in this place. I think I saw a stone basin in the floor near the wall back there. If you'll carry him, Tarzan, I'll bring this torch thing. Right. Thank heaven they at least gave us a light. If it'll only burn long enough. Uh, it'll burn, old girl, as long as we'll need it. The gracious Artea remarked we wouldn't be here longer than tomorrow. Put him down, Tarzan. Let, let me hold him. Here's my handkerchief. Wet it for me, please. Oh. It's no good using that bit of a rag. Here, take mine. Yours will do for a bandage. Wet this again, Tarzan. Let me see that wound. Oh, that's nothing to worry about, child. It's, it's only a scratch. The blood makes it look worse than it really is. Look there, by Jove, he's coming out of it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, thank heaven. Does, does it hurt you terribly, Terry, dear? Hurt? Yes, and it does that. My head feels... Feels like the inside of a boiler factory. <laughs> you see, Jeanette, he's all right. What? What happened to the Chinese, Huang? Before I could get to him, he had you inside the cave and the bars fastened. He told me he didn't shoot to kill O'Rourke. Faith and be goody. But that won't save him from a bit, and if I ever get my hands on oh, him... Oh, now, you be quiet, Terry. You'll get all warmed up over Wong, and your wound will start bleeding again. Oh, sure, of course. It is no more than a scratch. The loss of a little blood will do me no harm. We have too much of it anyway. If you and O'Rourke don't need this torch, Jeanette, I'll take it. I want to see what sort of hole we're in. Sure, and we don't be needing it, <laughs> will we, Akushla? Why, I... No, I, I guess not right now. Come along then, Tarzan. I'll make the inspection with you. Oh, oh Uncle Jim, I think I'd better go too. Uh, no, you don't, Alana. Sit down here and hold me head. Oh, oh, it hurts something terrible. Oh, Terry... I'm sorry. I... Oh, you, you were afraid I was bad hurt, you know. Oh, of course, Terry. I, I wouldn't want to see anyone. Oh, but I'm talking about Terry or Rock Mavornin. Well, I... I mean, yes, I, I guess so. Then, then, say it again, Kushla. Say what again? Terry, dear. Why? Why, Terry? I didn't... Oh, I think Uncle Jim... Oh, called. no, no. Your uncle never opened his mouth. Now, now, when I was coming out of the clouds, didn't I hear you say, Terry, dear? Ah, oh, faith, my darling, I've, 
I've loved you from the first time I laid eyes on you. That night on the boat, coming down from Port Side. I, I know it, Terry, dear. I guess I love you, too. Oh, hurrah! Uh, sure, and oh, it is the luck of the Aurochs that's with me this day. Oh, hurrah! Not so loud, Terry. Please, oh, they'll oh, hear you. Oh, big and I don't care if they do. What's the row over there? Has that hard-headed Irishman gone barmy again? Come over here. Tarzan found something. Oh, sure, and we'll be right with you, Major. Oh, come along, Alana. Well, please, now, Terry, do be careful. You're wounded. Oh, you know. faith, my darling. I'm thanking the Chinese for giving it to me. Else I wouldn't have found out that he cared. What is it, Major? What has Tarzan found? Look up there, near the ceiling. Tarzan? How the devil did he get up there? Climbed up by Jove. Well, Tarzan, old chap, what is it? I'm coming down. Look out. What did you find? That ledge up there. Three or four feet wide. There's a tunnel in the back wall. You can't see it from down here. I think it's a way out. But how are we ever going to get up there? Oh, I could never climb that wall. I'll carry you. O'Rourke, you first. Oh, have faith, man. He can't carry me up that wall. I'm too heavy for thee. Come on. Tarzan lifts O'Rourke to his shoulder. Without effort, he quickly climbs the rough cavern wall, his steely fingers and toes seeking and finding holds that in the gloom are invisible to the Irishman. Leaving O'Rourke on the ledge, the ape-man drops lightly down to the cavern floor, picks up Jeanette, and a moment later deposits her gently in the eager arms of the Irishman. Once more, he descends to return almost immediately with Major Ashley. By Jove, old man, that wall seemed smooth as glass. I don't see how you... Never mind that. Look there. Faith, tis a hole big enough to walk through. A real passageway. I'm wondering where it will lead us. We'll soon find out. Carry the light, Ashley. Let's go. Meanwhile, at the foot of the outer wall, the mounted Torian leans far forward over the head of his elephant. Holding a flaming torch high, he stares down at the quiet form of Darno lying on the ground. A slight movement from behind and above. He jerks round to see the figure of Uka dropping down on him, apparently from out of the clouds. With a crash, the Raptorian lands on the guard, knocking the torch from his hand. Wrapping his arms round the man's body, Uka drags him off the elephant. The Raptorian's left hand flashes to the long knife at the guard's side, whips it from its sheath and buries it to the hilt in the Torian's breast. From a distance, the weird cry of the yellow men resounds eerily through the night. The elephant-mounted Torians look back. On the ground, the sputtering torch throws its weird light over the struggling giants. The guards shout to their mounts, turn, and start swiftly back to the assistance of their comrade. Uka hurls the dead Torian aside. He leaps to his feet. One bound, and he is beside Darno. He snatches the half-conscious Frenchman up off the ground, springs toward the dead guard's elephant. With a thunderous roar of mighty feet, the Torian patrol storms up to surround Uka and Darno. Quickly, they are bound hand and foot. Lifted to the backs of two elephants and borne at a rapid pace along the foot of the wall, through the huge gate, into the streets of Tor, and toward the palace. Presently they stand once more in the great audience chamber, facing the giant Mungo, the cruel, cold eyed Atea, and the smiling, inscrutable Wang Tai. So, Uka, and you, Poldano, you thought to escape the guards of Tor. Pan too will be pleased at the many who are to be given into his embrace. Perhaps, daughter of Thor, one of these will say who it was that caused the disturbance on the walls a short time ago. It might be a satisfaction to know, eh? What difference? They will all die on the morrow? Nevertheless, ask. I am anxious to know whether I am right in my surmise that it was Tarzan. Paul Dano, whose was the plan to attempt an escape from the wall? Speak, I command you. What? I know of no such plan, my queen. You lie. It was conceived by Tarzan. Uka, is that not so? Answer. No, Atteo. The plan was mine. I do not believe it. But what difference? They die tomorrow. You two, tonight, immediately. Mungo, chain them together. They shall be cast into the fire from the bridge of Thor. Aruk. Back in the narrow passage above the cavern in which they had been confined, Tarzan leads Ashley, Jeanette, and O'Rourke through the winding tunnel. 
They step out presently into a great high vaulted chamber from which several corridors and passages lead off in different directions. Faith, this place must be a labyrinth with all its tunnels and passages. Mm. Well, at least we're out of that dungeon and on our way to... To what, Uncle Jim? Heaven only knows where these passages lead to. We might run straight into a room full of yellow men. That's the chance we have to take, old girl. We're going to get out somehow. This cavern must be somewhere under that central tower, don't you think so, Tarzan? Possibly. It doesn't make much difference which one we take. We can always come back if... Listen. Voices. Coming this way, aren't they, Tarzan? Yes. But there are a lot of them. Stick that crescent up there on the wall. We don't need it now. These corridors all seem to be lighted. Right. What now? We'll take this one. It's as good as any. Come on. Did you hear that? It sounded to me just like a panther. Never mind that. We've got to get away from those yellow men. There's a bend in the corridor out there. Hurry. Those voices are coming up the same passage, Tarzan. You think they found our cage empty and are searching for us? That may be. We'll take... Oh, by the saints of the old side, look there. Chained to the wall at the end of this tunnel. A leopard. A black one. Faith! Now we're between the devil and the deep blue sea. 